What's going on guys, Dane here, and I want to talk a lickety split real quick about how to spend your diamonds in this game. Now, this is a question that's been coming up a little bit, a lot of bit, all that, and I think there's a interesting answer for this one if you want my perspective on this one. Now, having played a lot of gotchas, having been number one in a lot of gotchas actually, some on this channel, some off channel, some that were on the channel that tanked so bad that I didn't even want the footage for the clout. Um, you know, gotchas, we're kind of, we're kind of here in this genre, strategy games in general and all that kind of crazy stuff, you know what I mean? Um, it, people have been asking for my opinion on this one. I just wanted to give you guys like a, exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, take it with a grain of salt, take it to heart, however you want to do it. Um, you know, it's your game. Uh, I think I uh, trust your gut on how you feel about what I have to say on this one as we do a bunch of single pulls just to kind of get like the ball rolling. Um... There is a balance in this game, I believe, as far as how you're going to be spending your gems. If you are free to play specifically, if you're not free to play, then why do you even care? Buy what you want, you know what I'm saying? But if you are free to play, or a light spender, um, it is expensive to buy summons. However, I'm not going to say don't buy summons. Here's my real answer. There is a fine line balance between summons and energy refreshes in this game. Too many energy refreshes and you're going to starve yourself on new units and starve yourself on SSRs and SR pulls. Too few energy refreshes and you're not going to be able to get the materials you need to like do events. You're not going to be able to like uh, buy energy for, you know, getting your gear to kind of look like a, like I finally got my first piece as we kept up with the uh, whatchamacallit. The uh, uh, what, was, what was the word? We kept up with the uh, the event, the the academy, you know, we're done with the academy. Um, you know, things like this, right? The upgrading people's materials, upgrading their armor and stuff like that takes doing events, it takes doing dungeons, it takes stuff like that to get your combat power up. Uh, and if you're not doing so with your energy, if you're just uh, spending on summons, which are 3,000 for a single summon, you have, uh, you're going to starve yourself on actually getting anything upgraded. You're going to have a lot of units and a lot of shards that you don't need. You don't need to be summoning for shards. Once you have a unit, you don't need to do that. It, you can definitely get all the shards you need out of the bazaar for everybody. Um, you don't need to go crazy summoning once you have like a good squad or early game. So here's what I'm going to say. I would say summon until you have a very high damage dealer. That's what I'm going to say. Now, when banners pop up, because this is going to change as it goes, I would say pick your favorite out of each banner. Pick your favorite out of each banner set, right? For me, it's been Masato. I've been trying to get my hands on her. I wasted two uh, temples on Octavia. I don't need her now. Um, find who you want, right? I would love a Dark Archer. That's why Masato was here for me. Leon, I got extremely early on. But once you pull out of like whatever banner set there is, the one that helps you the most, as a free-to-play player, I think it is important to practice restraint and to not continue dumping diamonds into them. Now, I got Leon very early, and that is where it's going to change a little bit. I got Leon on my first 10 pull, so I don't need to do another Leon 10 pull. You know what I'm saying? I don't need copies of him at all. If I get copies, it's a little bit of a waste of an SSR pull. Same with Masato. So I'm gunning for Masato by the time this is over with, if I can so help it. Uh, I have a lot of ways to get diamonds, a lot of stages. I did not three-star. I was just autoing through all that crazy nonsense. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to finish the Academy right now. Uh, I'll show you guys the uh, fight on 7-9. But the real answer for what to do with diamonds is to grind with them. I'm talking about grind your event with energy refreshes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, once you have like spent your energy, like if we go over to Spellfall, you're going to want to buy more energy, but you're not going to want to starve yourself on units either. I would say get one. If you get one early, then get two uh, banners each rotation. Uh, other than that, be really restrained on how many summons you're doing. I think it's important to summon with crystals because it's hard to get the tickets. I think it's important to save crystals for grinds as well, and that is exactly how it balanced out. Get yourself a very strong damage dealer. For me, my nuker that I summoned early is Ronin over here. He's crazy. You guys have been seeing him. Um, that's how I would spend diamonds in this game, fully fleshed out. One, maybe two of every banner rotation, and everything else is going to be going to energy refreshes to grind everything. That's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and peace out.